Hey everyone, welcome back to more Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector. I'm Disturbing Puppet. We're continuing to play around with the new Orc DLC. Well, relatively new. Uh, new to me, anyway. So I've been playing around with the units. We've gone through a bunch of 1,000-point armies playing against the Marines. We're now up to 2,000 points. We're going to try a couple different ones. This is an army that I built. Um, it's a little different from the pre-built one that I adjusted a little bit. Uh, we'll probably try that one as well, but they're fairly similar. They do have some different units in it, so it's kind of a way to just try out some different stuff. All right, so we're going to have a war boss for the first time. War boss has a decent gun, kind of comparable to the other orc stuff, uh, a very good power claw, uh, so this is going to be our main way of destroying any heavily armored stuff. We have to get up close and kill it. Do you have a nice combi rocket? Um, it looks like the cooldown is only one turn. It's got two ammo. I'm not sure if the ammo reload time being three means that after we fire off, like if we burn both shots after three turns, we get another one. Uh, basic buffs, uh, just kind of a nice thing to kind of help out the war boss a little bit and we've got a little attack squig to kind of help out in close combat fighting we have seen the weird boy before we're gonna have a big mech for the first time here so the big mech has a custom mega blaster which actually has pretty good armor piercing so that's something we can kind of look at for dealing with armored stuff uh ranges you know not great but a little better than most of the basic work stuff we have a power claw which is pretty decent so we have a couple abilities here. So we can do repair and armor. So that lasts for a couple turns. We can do that with a cooldown of one. I'm not sure if that means every other turn or every turn. Custom force field. So we want to be careful of positioning. So the mech takes less damage, but anything within two tiles also takes less damage. And then we can affect non-vehicle allies next to us, give them ranged evasion or ranged armor and evasion for a couple turns, which is pretty cool. And then cooldown on that is two, so we can just keep popping that on somebody if we have somebody that's not a vehicle nearby. The Pain Boy, as you've seen before, he gives health to other close by units. We've got one unit of Gretchen, one unit of knobs, um, just with the basic gear, nothing really upgraded. A couple units of the knobs and mega armor, so they've got the really good kill saws, no special guns or anything. One Luda, not upgraded. We're gonna try out some flash gits though. So flash gits have relatively decent guns here for orcs um, as far as ranged options this is probably one of our better choices for trying to take out armored targets because it does have up to four armor piercing whereas most everything else is two on these guys these guys with the pistols i think it's one yeah so not too great the ludas i think it's two no it's actually three so yeah not awful a little better at punching through armor gonna have a couple bikes to scout with we've also have the mech so i figured some extra vehicles uh, we can heal up would be nice and then we're gonna try out some of the death dreads so uh these are just basic drift dreads uh we're not gonna upgrade to the flamer um i maybe against tyranids i would use the flamer otherwise i think we'll go with the shooter uh not great against armored targets but it does shoot a lot and then for armored targets we want to get up close and use the dread claw so these do blow up and then there is this special ability. So when within two tiles of other Deft Reds, you can get multiple stacks of this to get extra shots, melee damage, and movement. So I feel like what that probably means is you want to keep the de Deft Reds together and even stagger your movement because it's going to give them extra movement. So don't more move more than two ahead of the other one if you want to keep that bonus for movement options. Don't move all of your movement with one Deft Red and then move the other one up. Um, it's not going to make it, probably, because the first one will get the buff of movement and the second one won't. So just kind of things to kind of keep in mind as we go through. So we're going to go ahead and take out so my horde army here. And we're going to hit up a 2,000 point marine force. There's a couple different options. We'll take a look once we get in here. So I have a couple different forces. Some of them have the DLC units and other ones don't. That's probably what I'll do is I'll just pick one without uh, any DLC units and then I'll pick one that does have DLC units. So we want to play the orcs. We're playing at 2,000 points. Going up against the marines. So let's make sure it's not the mech mob. It's my horde. Okay, so we could actually just have the AI generate an army itself, but sometimes those are not very good. So we have the Blood Angels Battalion. So one Dreadnought, a um, couple aggressors, lots of shooting, um, decent vehicle. So decent complement there. What else do we have at 2,000 points? So the Strike Force here. So this is much more like really heavily weighted on fast attack 
So we've got the Death Company, we've got the uh, uh, one of these Inceptors, and then a bunch of the Land Speeders. Do I have? Yeah, I've got one with the new units as well. So this one with a couple Terminators and a couple of these guys as well, which is pretty nasty, honestly. Uh, it's a lot fewer units, but that's pretty dangerous. I feel like uh, we might go with the first one here. It's a very general army. Um, it does have a decent complement of fast stuff, the heavier vehicles, some heavier armor. Uh, let's give this a try and see how it goes. So we're going to play on which map? Ruins isn't bad. Bridges really narrows things down a bit. I think pretty much everything is right around the same. The fortress is 30 by 30. I think there's more bigger ones than there used to be. Um, yeah, I think there's some different maps, actually. This is the biggest one at 40 by 35, unless they've added another one that's big. Uh, I do kind of like Salt Exchange because it's pretty open. Uh, yeah, let's do Salt Exchange, and we'll pick a different map for the next one when we fight. So this one's fairly open, and then we'll do one next time that's a bit more congested. Maybe the bridge. See how that goes. I could give the AI the best possible chance and go with the dual Terminators on the bridge. And see how that goes. Um, and that multiple of the uh, other special jump troops that they've got from the DLC. Just to give them the best possible chance to sort of slaughter a bunch of orcs. All right, we want to be careful about our deployment here. So we want uh, certain guys in certain places based on the abilities that they give. Where's our war boss, by the way? There's our war boss. I kind of want to look at the war boss here. Let's take a look at the actual model of the war boss down at ground level. Yeah, I mean, he looks basically the same as the illustration, just a little darker. All right, now we do have the bikes we can scout with. So that's something else to keep in mind. I feel like there's weird chain clanking noises. I don't remember hearing. It's giving me like Hellraiser flashbacks. And I, I don't know what's going on with that. All right, so we have flash kits. We want to be careful about where we're going to put you guys. We want to be careful where we put the Ludas. We want to be careful about where we put the Mega Knobs. Although I really should be knobs and mega armor. The basic knobs are sort of here to suck up shots along with the Gretchen to get everybody else close to do damage. That's sort of the plan. So Deftred and the um, mech should be in a group together. We do have a fairly open shot up there or here. I think actually we head a little bit over with them. I mean, this is tempting, too, because it's just so open, and we can cover a lot of ground. Yeah, all right, let's do that. All right, so we're going to have two Deftreads up. We're going to have the mech behind. Who else wants to hang out with this group? Somebody probably should. Um, shooting past these guys is going to be trouble. But if we have somebody else in the area, then they can get kind of a benefit. Maybe we give you... I don't know, I kind of need these guys to screen. We could give them the Ludas, maybe. The bikes, I think we're going to check out the flanks. So we'll do that. We might put most of the infantry over here. Uh, we could keep the war boss here with these guys. That's honestly not a terrible idea also. We could push with a lot of the, the boys up right behind the Death Dreads. We could kind of scatter out a little bit out this way once we get up further. I kind of like the idea of pushing this right side even though our deployment is a bit more left-centered. So I'm going to just sort of get everybody in position. Our guys are fairly slow. 
So that's something else to kind of keep in mind. Pain boy in the center. Let's get the Ludas. Then anybody with range we're going to put in, and then we'll have the knobs and mega armor sort of behind, in a way. Uh, we might go up to here and then break off. We'll see how it goes. Flash gets... Alright, let's do it like this, actually. Then my Psyker. Yeah, I mean, we can kind of hang out in the area. I think it's okay. But yeah, we'll sort of go like that. All right, so we're going to heavily weight our army on the right flank here. We was made to fight, so let's fight! All right, first things first, uh, we're going to push the red Give button. Giving us some welly! Not going to see anything at this point, so it's really just about rushing forward. Red ones, go faster! Getting some vision, especially on the flanks here, so that we can try to do some hit and run attacks uh, in a bit. There's a decent amount of ground to cover, and we're not very fast, other than our bikers and stuff. Um, what's the movement on you guys? Five? I think that's with the bonus, the Death Dread bonus. So you guys are also going to punch it. We're not going to see anything at this point. Let's just kind of cruise on up. I'm not going to be too concerned about taking a position with cover. What are we waiting for? We're just trying to get some vision. Okay, so boys. we move up to. So we still have our bonus here. So we kind of have don't to stagger like over. this so they don't get more than two tiles away from each other. So they do actually have an, an okay amount of movement with that movement bonus. Because we've already, at this point, kind of outpaced the mech. There really isn't any point overwatching, so I'm just going to go ahead and move all the way up here. Over. Try to catch up here with you guys. The war boss can actually make it all the way. He's a little faster, it looks like. Let's get moving! Alright. Then out here we want to keep everybody kind of around the pain boy for the extra health. Uh, we can do some decent stuff with the weird boy as well. So we've got some nice uh, negative effect we can give to an enemy. We've got a nice buff we can give that lasts for a couple turns. And we can do a decent um, armor piercing hit with the Ed Bang. Which is nice. The Gretchen are actually quick. I'm gonna sort of run them up. My Ready to boss the boys. We're gonna filter in here to have them sort of run forward in the front. Sorry, sorry. It's not really gonna matter for facing here. Orcs is the best, and us flash kits are the best orcs. Yeah, run on in there. That's fine. Flash kits actually aren't. Moving our substantial slow, which is nice. Out. What's the plan? Ludas are a bit slow, though. So thing, boss. Moving yeah, closer and mega to the armor scrap. Also a bit slow. Moving closer to the scrap. And we'll just throw you in there. So I'm curious if we get shot, if it's going to show kind of a area. So this affects within two tiles, I think. Yeah, two tiles. So we've actually got them covered a little bit. All right, that's everybody. Ah, something new to kill. I smell me something puny! Yeah, they're moving up pretty quick. That might just be the land speeders coming out by themselves to scout. Sometimes no faster units there. will sort be of just go nuts and 
the AI will just kind of throw them at you early on for some reason. Orcs always win, even when we don't. That's right. Okay, uh, let's do a little scouting. Raring to go. Be a little careful here. I don't think I'm going to see anything at this point. But I might sooner or later. This gun, uh, optimal is only two, but can shoot out the four. Uh... Let's just overwatch this a little bit. I'm going to go out a little further. Set up. Didn't think I would see anything on the flank. Red ones, go faster! These guys are actually relatively tough. We even shoot quick! <laughs> They've got decent armor and decent amount of health, so they'll probably be okay. But we really want most of the fire and attention to go on the Death Dreads. Found a land speeder. Ten boys. Now the gun that you've got, what's the optimal? It's actually four. Okay. So if we just move up a little bit more, we find even more land speeders. Okay. It over. Yeah, we're just gonna slaughter the land speeders here. So you're already in optimal. Death Drench. So I think we push you forward to shoot at the other land speeder. What else did we find? So we've got aggressors there. That's not too big of a concern. Could be a lot worse. Uh, you can't really get that close. How about we put you Moving there? Moving way over. The war boss. What's the range on your rocket? Two to eight, optimal five. Yeah, I think we'll wait. Uh, if I could get in optimal range of the aggressors, I probably would go for it. Um, let's just slip you in to let's protect the mech. Moving. We've got the force field kind of covering the area. And my gun is optimal too, but we can take some shots. Actually, not, not bad shots, honestly. Okay, so we've got a bunch of shots up front there. Gretchen, let's yes, go boss. Right away. peek over on this side a little bit. Don't think we're going to spot anything. Okay, knobs. Move in and lead it. Kind of my screen here, and we'll set up the guns afterwards. The knobs is here. We could direct some more guys over to this side, because that's mainly where we've encountered the enemy. All right, let's just take a look and see. So if we take a shot from here, what are we looking at? 70%, uh, 70 to 80 damage probably. Okay, a lot of that just bounced off the armor, unfortunately. Didn't do much else. Need your goblins fixed up. If you took a shot, yeah. Whoa! Less than I was hoping for. I kind of wanted to spread shots, but maybe now we just target one. Can we see what these guys have? Heavy bolter, heavy bolter, yeah. Uh, let's just damage. Taking fire. Taking fire. Spread some damage at the moment, although our accuracy, I mean, 70% isn't terrible, but could have been better. Uh, yeah, we might want to actually get some other guys out here. I'm still covered by the force Moving field here. Our substantial riches out. So let's give the flash gets a chance here. We're a little out of range. We could just drop an overwatch. Our optimal is four, which is a little short. So we could maybe see if they want to move in. Uh, I don't think they will, but I'll just set that up. We are still covered by the force field there, so that does help a little bit. Uh, what's the range on this? Looks like it's about... 
three? It's pretty close. We could move up what and now? then give a buff to everybody on that side. I think that's a pretty good call. Um, so maybe we'll send somebody else over that side. Could send one of the Mega Knobs. Don't bother us! And Flash Gets are kind of in the way. Let's have you also go over. I think I could stitch that back. Run around with you. If you say so. See where I can get everybody else. Yeah, unfortunately, these guys are kind of slow. The Ludas are kind of slow. Unfortunately, these big heavy guys all the way in the back just aren't going to be able to do much here. Moving but... closer to the scrap! Now, you could take a tactic of just advancing only as fast as these guys can with maybe a screen of Gretchen. I think that would probably be a decent idea. But in this case, we're already kind of engaging. So we're going to go ahead and go Warpath here. So we're going to give all of our guys... Well... I was thinking we could pop it now for the damage reduction, but we could wait until next turn. This is a three turn cooldown. We could go ahead and reduce the accuracy of one of those guys. They're not liable to do that much damage to me. But you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, so we'll just make one of them a lot less effective, at least. Although they're probably not going to do much to the Death Dreads. They might try to target the Flash Kits. Uh, and we'll see how effective the shield is at that point. All right, that's everybody. Let's see if more certainly starts uh, jumping in there? here. We can wipe out these faster units that are kind of isolated. Got some aggressors coming in. They're going to get shot. <laughs> Damage. Whoa! Oh, they went for the grenades. Not nice. Taken apart. Cool. Got the shield showing up there. Apparently, the shield doesn't affect grenades. Ooh, not good. They're just jumping in there blindly <laughs> and changed their mind. Okay. <laughs> Or not. I don't know. Maybe it's a weird animation. Get off me bike! Oh, they must have known I was there because they did a jump. Maybe they were moving, we got shot, then they spotted me, and then were able to use the ability. Alright, now comes the swarm of guys. Taken a party. Yeah, the Death Dreads aren't gonna take much damage from any of this. Taken a party. Couple points of damage. Excellent. The aggressors would need to get close. The regular marines really should be targeting the flash gets or something else. You just uh, like locked on, so reduced the evasion of my guys and increased armor piercing against them. So oh, just doing that to help everybody else should have done that first. Oh, tank is on that side. That's not good for my bike. Oh yeah, me, not my bike. No, not the paint job! I am relatively tough, though. Oh, yeah, me, not me, bike! So I think we can probably shoot and disengage there without a problem. Actually, those Inceptors have plasma pistols, so they really should have just shot their plasma pistols at my bike. They would have done way more damage. Okay, so everything's kind of feeding into the Death Dread side. Uh, these guys did take some damage, not too bad. We could just move over to try to heal if we can make it that far. Over on this flank, we've got just that one unit in the tanks. So yeah, these guys do have the plasma pistols, which makes them pretty dangerous. Um, yeah, okay. We could maybe hit them with the Ludas as well, if we move them over. I can't really get over effectively here. Do 
We can charge in with the knobs and go close combat on them. We could just make the Gretchens be a big distraction. I'd kind of like to use them as a screen, but if they shoot at the Gretchen rather than something else, that's actually pretty positive, honestly. Alright, let's do that. You're going to move up there, take pot shots at somebody. Give us some view of the rest of the army. It's our time! You guys... Move in and lead in! Gonna charge on in. Uh... Let's see... I can freely back off. What's my optimal is two. So More let's light them up a little bus. bit first before we go close combat on them. Fire. Okay, good deal. You guys, let's get a damage Bring bonus. Golden back. Now we'll use both hands. Grab the axes and go in chopping. We have been engaged. Oh, right well, through the armor. Almost wiped them out. Last guy's at 31 health. Okay, bike. Run. Run away. Try to get over to the other group and heal up. So we have the knobs here can kind of deal with these guys. The tank, I really don't have much over here that can deal with the tank. So that is potentially an issue. You're sort of blocking my way. If you say so. Come over this way. If we just move up, we're going to give extra health. I don't know if that affects the Death Treads. It does. Actually, the Pain Boy presence does give extra health to the Death Treads. That's pretty cool. Um, so your guns, you want to be optimal 5. But... I'm going to shoot my own guys probably quite a bit. Well, if Let's we take a look at the percentage here. If I want to shoot here, 52%. Misses will have a chance to hit my own guys. That's kind of bad. I'd say we have an okay chance to drop that last guy. But... But, but, but. Well, if we have to, we'll yeah, move. I'm just going to leave them there to sort of keep things occupied. Pay more holes in them than the just sort of watch the area. Alright, so Sorry, the knobs and mega armor can deal with the tank. So one of them, we're going to run that direction. Mega knobs! Raise knobs, but dead shiny. So you guys, I think we'll come over this side. Maybe we'll wait to move up. All right, so. I can't heal anybody, but we can move. Let's just so get in the cover. Ready to go. Here, we're going to give everybody in range a nice little buff. Last for a couple turns. War boss himself. We do have our rocket we can throw out there. That's probably a good call. We go right into the mass there. Sure, let's do that. Try that out. Okay, not like awesome, but okay. So, I think... Death Dreads! Trying to remember the optimal ranges of everything. We're a little close now for the Death Dreads, but we could just move in and crunch stuff with our claws. Um, that's totally reasonable. You guys want to be at four. Move in our substantial riches, so eh? So, move a tiny bit. Let's exchange movement for shooting. 
light up the aggressors. Under fire! Okay, very nice. They were already a well, little hurt. Maybe. Would like to get you guys healed, maybe. Moving our substantial riches out. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna light up. Well, that land speeder is not so much of a threat. So if we miss some shots here, we're probably liable to hit these guys. I'm not sure, but we've got 80%. Let's just take them out. That should kill them off. There we go. And that keeps us from kind of advancing too far, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm really tempted just to charge in here. Oh, no. You's looking at me. There's nothing too nasty that I really need to target with the headbutt. We do have a lot of extra shots here because of the bonuses, but we're going to do more in close combat. Uh, let's have Splash, right? Yeah. I feel like killing off the land speeders and the aggressors here is slightly a waste with these guys. Dunk it over. But let's go on up. Grab the claw. Yay! Down you go. And the war boss we could even get out into combat as well. Which is very tempting. So if I shoot you guys, I'm liable to get some shots on these guys too and probably kill them. Let's do that. Under fire! Or not. Okay. I was hoping we would kind of accidentally kill that guy. We'll go ahead and move up, just have kind of a wall of steel in the front. Then... We was made to fight, so let's fight! War boss. We could just shoot these guys to death. I don't even have to move. We've actually got pretty good accuracy here at 76%. Um, do I keep the war boss safe for now? What's my optimal range? Three... Was that three or was that two? That's my optimal. Let's get moving! 85. Yeah, just gun him down. There we go. Okay. I'm mostly concerned about the plasma guns. The aggressors don't really concern me that much. Uh, I am going to move you over here to sort of protect these guys. Because you can take some shots a little better. I don't need to be the smartest. I could Just move up to the front biggest. line. So your gun is an optimal three. So that gets our force field up. Oh, that's pretty nasty. So, this guy did take a little tiny bit of damage. We could go ahead and get that repaired and give him some armor. You got me shoot well bad now. And then I'm just gonna shoot. Yeah, we'll shoot Custom the intercessors a little bit. Working nicely. Okay, nice little bit of damage. Dropped one of them. You've got seven armor, one eighty. The old place armor, is Yeah, let's have you come over here in case they do advance up to this position. Yeah. Oh no, you's looking at me. My weird boy. Let's just go ahead and zap the aggressors. I would hit the plasma guns, but I can't quite reach them. So now two of those guys are hurt. 
still have a few units left. Grats! Ready to fight! You're Gretchen, don't call yourself Grats. It's demeaning. 55, 38. Yeah, go for them. See if we can distract some of these guys. Just be enough of an irritation that they'll take some shots at us. That's sort of ideal. Don't bother us! You guys run on in. Okay, my bike is actually not in an awful position here to try to flank a little bit. Red ones, go faster! They're just out of range, though. I'm gonna increase my evasion for a couple turns. We even shoot quicker. Drop a little Overwatch there. That's all my units. So things are going relatively well. Um, I don't feel like we did a ton of damage to them there, but we did drop two land speeders and those weakened aggressors. We are going to take a lot of plasma shots here. Ideally, they should really focus down one of the death dreads, but we'll see what they do. Their dreadnought's a bit slow. Giving them some extra armor, sure. Tenant is gonna attack, maybe. We are taking fire. Oh, they're hurting themselves to do more damage. Shoot back. Taking a panty. So this is the unit that I gave additional armor to, and it's got the shield, but it still took 80 some damage there, so that's quite a bit. Heal on them up, that's kinda sucky. Somebody's shooting at the Gretchen. Nope, throwing a grenade at the Gretchen. But they did survive. Are coming in to punch us. Dread's taking a pound. Ooh, that was a lot of damage, actually. Yeah, the force field doesn't help us with that. We didn't attack back, which sucks as well. Floor in the armor. Oh, oh. the mech. All right. Gotta fix this. Took a good chunk of damage. Let's see if they just toss another grenade. Yep, that'll be it for the Gretchen. But we wasted a couple of his actions. Dreadnought's coming in. That's a bit of an issue. He is slow, though, thankfully. Taking a yeah, that shouldn't do much damage, the Stormbolter there. He does have support on that side. That's a bit of an issue. We're under fire! Don't I know who we are? Oh, right through the armor! We're under fire! Don't I know who we are? Okay, Nobs got beaten up a bit, but it's kind of what I would have expected. Okay. We're within close combat range of some of our units here. You got pretty badly beat up. The old ways is best. Let's heal up the mech, I think. Hopefully I don't accidentally hurt him. There's a 15% chance. All right. Yeah, we're good. Okay. I've got nothing I can do with you. Uh, we've got a lot of health, so we're kind of okay. Yeah, we can heal every turn. Let's do a heal. Then, we can give some extra ranged armor and evasion to a unit, so we could maybe do that to the war boss or the flash gets. Uh, maybe the war boss, we might send him on in like a maniac. It's either that or we take a shot. My gun actually isn't that bad with the armor piercing six, so we could use them on the aggressors. We might want to do that instead. Over on this flank. So you ready maniacs. to boss the boys? Can you kill him? Okay. 
then charge on in like maniacs because you're orcs. That's what you do. Try to get both of them sort of hung up a little bit. And the knobs in mega armor are going to run as fast as they can to get over here. There's no point shooting at this tank. We're just going to try to get close so we can use our uh, close combat weapons on them. Although our close combat weapons aren't that awesome. Um, oh no, these are the mega knobs. I think the, I thought these were knobs. These are the knobs in mega armor. Yeah, these guys are totally good. The kill saws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know that I need the Ludas over on that side. We might try to angle them out here a little bit. Is their range? They want to be at like five. So we can use this as cover. Try to light up the plasma gunners back there. It was probably my best. Yeah, we've got a good chance to hit. So we're going to drop might is right. So we shoot more and we've got some armor piercing and we're going to hit the uh, Who's plasma gunners. Who's going to argue with us, eh? Massive firepower, scratch and plasma gunners. Excellent job. Okay, the Dreadnought is my main concern, honestly. Uh, the aggressors we can kill up close. I think that's fine. My bike. Boss, 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 boss. I would like you... It's not going to be an optimal shot. But we're going to come out and we're going to try to hit these plasma gunners. Okay, we dropped a couple of them. Then we... Get away. As much as we can, which isn't very far, but it is a little bit away. I still have my evasion up. Doesn't help me in close combat, but will help me otherwise. Okay. What needs killing? If I move my boss, I think we can get you guys up into fight. I think we can move up and then still have an attack on them. So I would like to damage the plasma guns. I'm a bit worried about the dreadnought. Actually, that's a librarian dreadnought, so that's even worse. Optimal is four, so will we go out here. We'll try to light up. We'll see what kind of shot chance we have anyway. What do we got? 70% to hit. Going to do 120, 160, somewhere in that range. Or we could wipe out the Hellblasters. I think we've got other units we can kill the Hellblasters with. Of some of this, you scum! Okay, a little bit less than I was hoping. Set up a bit of a firing line here for you. I'm gonna go for the librarian as well. Receiving fire. And then I think we just have the war boss go attack the librarian up close. We could fire off a rocket. How's about I give you a bit of boom? Okay. Uh, unfortunately, if I go through here now, we are going to get hit, so I do kind of have to take out these aggressors. I was hoping I could have Don't these guys. Us. Yeah, we can do that, but then you're sort of in the way. Okay, knobs and mega armor. Let's go in. If we can clear a path, we can go from there. Huh. A tough one. Extra close combat abilities. Whoa! Go after the aggressors. Who threw that? Almost killed them all. Unfortunate I couldn't get all of them. Okay. Turn boys. You go ahead and kill the aggressors. Charge in on them. I haven't used my second action. How about we go ahead and buff 
the war boss here. Morama, so you're on it, a kill. Orcs always the war boss win. has a really good power Even claw. When we don't. I'm gonna have the war boss go after the Liberian Dreadnought here. Which is a little bit nuts. This is more like it. Only 67 damage. So we softened him up, smacked him. He didn't attack back. Is that all you oh, got? he did. It just took a while. Okay. So even with my buffs and stuff, I still took 60 there. Uh, I don't know that the squig would do much, but uh, sure. Don't need to be kind the of a smartest. free attack. Yeah. Just your biggest. All right. So even with my buffs and stuff there, we're probably going to take a decent shot. Tinkering. Guys, because of how close I am. Yeah, gun these guys down. That should be okay. Okay, got all of them. Okay, move up. Yes. What else is around here? Yeah, let's just face these guys directly so they can't get away. You're there. Weird boy, can't really do anything unless I want to attack in close combat. I can't attack around the corner here. You guys are out of movement. Orcs is the best, and us flash gets are the best orcs. So we could move the flash gets after we get some space available here. I think... So I want to cover the boss with a shield, so we're going to go there. We'll just put you here, I don't really have anything else I can do with you, we can't attack there. Pain boy. We just get up so that everybody's got some extra health. Of course we can't reach the war boss. You guys can't move. These guys are kind of protecting the Warbiker at the moment. I don't think anything is going to come over this way. Orcs is the best, and us flash gates are the best. I'm orcs. just going to move over so we have the extra health from the Pain Boy. Seems like the most appropriate thing to do. Oh, no. You's looking at me. Yeah, I just don't have anything I can do with you. Over here. I mean, we could try to get in position to kind of go after the Intercessor Squad later. He's probably going to focus on the knobs and mega armor, I would assume. So if I try to get around behind, I can't quite make it. I'm just kind of setting up for next turn. I think I can also do this for extra evasion. <laughs> In case he does try to shoot at the war biker rather than the knobs and mega armor. Yeah, I just don't have anything I can do with you. Uh, but yeah, we've sort of just crushed the marines in advance behind the Dreads, which is sort of what I was planning to do. Force field is definitely helping, but it's only affecting range shots, not close combat. That's something I hadn't really thought about. Um, and doesn't affect grenades as well, but they've kind of used up their grenades. So we don't have a lot left to kill. Sanguinary Priest, the Lieutenant, who actually, you've got a Thunder Hammer, it looks like. Yeah, okay, that's dangerous. Um, tech Marines back there, probably going to try to come up and help the Librarian Dreadnought. Not ideal. Alright, that's all I can do. He's just probably going to run over and do a heal. Or something. Basically replacing a big chunk of damage what there. A pathetic little shooter. Let's see if the war boss can hold his own there with the shield to help. Dread's taking a party. 
Our leader coming right on in. Thunderhammer Strike did not do much. My counterattack took a good chunk of health off him. We've taken out pretty much all of his stuff that can hit my armored units. I like the animation on the force field there, that's quite nice. Push them back! They're running away a little bit. Dread's taking a bad Change back! Yeah, this little bolt pistol shouldn't really do much. Dread's taking a bad But I am taking damage, which is a bit surprising, honestly. Alright, they're sort of falling back a little bit. Really, the Librarian Dreadnought is resist. the most dangerous thing. Uh, maybe it's going to go for the Death Dread here? I'm not sure what its plan is. Yep. My turn. Where are you going? He's just trying to like, run on by. He does have another action. He's taking some shots. He's coming right into the big mass of us, trying to hit me in the back again. <laughs> Problem is, when he blows up, he is going to do damage to everyone around him. So we'll try to get some people away from him, I think, before we try to finish him off. We're under fire! Wasted the attack on the regular knobs. Shouldn't have done that! That's probably his bolter. Yeah, not doing much there. He's too fast! Now they're hitting us! Uh, I don't know how they can hit us, actually, through that silo. But whatever. Okay. So you left your tech marine isolated here. I might have to kill your tech marine. A little worried about the dreadnought. Okay. Where's that space? We come up. We can do some more bike is firing, guys. boss. Taking fire! Alright. I do have an extra movement. Red ones, go faster! Back off. It'd be nice picking a cover, but I can't. So the knobs, let's get right on. Move it closer to the scrap. We're gonna focus on the tank. We're gonna go close combat focused. Get some damage in there. Okay, not quite half, but a good chunk of health gone. Alright, now that tank could still move off and gun down some Losers have the best shooters. So, we're gonna go ahead and target the more healthy unit, or do we pick these guys off? Let's pick these guys off. Shooters and shooters! Then I'm going to advance up into some cover. Kind of looking that way. Because everyone else over here should do a pretty good job advancing. Um, so we just have to be careful this Librarian Dreadnought is going to blow up when it dies. Okay, you will attack the pain boy if I try to leave. That is a bit of an issue. Let's heal the mech again. This may sting a bit. Okay, in that case, we actually hurt him, but it said it was blocked or something, so I don't think his, his armor essentially blocked the damage, I think. That death dread is really Major close to being dead. Up. You got me shoot well bad now. I don't know if that's enough health to keep it alive if it blows up. What do we have here? So the lieutenant's right there. How about we headbang the lieutenant? You will need more than that. Don't know if we even needed to, because the death dread can probably just kill him. Ready a sore bones. Still have my biker there too. So you guys can kind of freely move. Moving our substantial riches out. 
Then... Yeah, we've got a free shot at these guys, so just light them up. Okay, decent damage. Back off a bit. War boss, I think we just try to kill the tech marine here. Let's get moving! He's sort of stuck and trapped, so why not? Ah! Didn't feel a thing! He actually did quite a bit of damage in response. A lot more than I expected, honestly. I've had worse. Oh, we almost got him. He's at 12 health left. Oh. Yeah, he's doing a really good job against the war boss, surprisingly. Considering I still have my range... Oh, that's ranged armor, I guess, and evasion and stuff. Yeah, 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 okay. Alright, you guys still need to get away. Moving our substantial riches out. The uh, basic intercessors there. All right. One left. All right. I think we're just gonna have to kind of face tank some damage here when this thing blows up. Uh, I'm hoping it's not an insane amount. I might want to go ahead and use this death dread though, because he might blow up. This could create, like, a big cascade. Like, he blows up, blows up him, which then blows this... Well, it should blow that one, but we'll do a lot of damage to, like, the mech and stuff. Chance to hit is really bad for shooting. Alright, let's just try to kill the leader. Contempt is my armor! Yep, sit down, the lieutenant is gone. I'm at 58 health. I'm hoping that my armor can block the explosion damage, because it's not like a direct attack. And then you guys... Just kill that last intercessor, just because it's kind of massive overkill. Uh, we'll go tie Drunk up... It over. Priest. The old ways is best. I think we move anyway, because this Death Dread could get blown up by the explosion, so I'm a little concerned about that. What now? There isn't a whole lot left over here to fight. Uh, let's go jabbing fingers on you. Start moving over. It's just these last couple of units there over on the side that were already engaged. So I'm actually going to have you look Nothing. that away around the corner. Yeah, nobody here I can really move or do stuff with without them blowing up. And I'm just going to have the knobs killing. get the kill here. So let's see what happens. Floor in the armor. Ah. Okay, so the shield did block that a little bit. We did take some damage, but not that much. Okay. So I do have an action left. Death Trench. I think. Dunk it over. We advance over. So if we're close. It's extra shots, melee damage, and movement. Okay. I mean, I could just rush. Yeah, let's just rush on over as fast as I can. Even though he's a bit trashed. Okay, your gun, you want to be optimal three. Move him away over. Let's see if we can kill off this tech marine. Ah! There we go. Okay. 
Poor boss is pretty banged up. So the war boss is not nearly as strong as I thought he would be. Um, I mean, he's fairly tough. I think I expected maybe a bit more armor from him, but six is reasonable. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't realize that guy was still alive there. I thought the only ones left were over there, and I totally forgot. Uh, like, this guy's already dead in my head kind of thing. All right. What you gonna do? Everybody, some so. health bonuses. That's what. Moving closer to the scrap. Send more knobs over, and you guys what? face that way. I still have my bike over orcs here too. Orcs is the best, and us flash kids are the best orcs. All right. My bike. Get in, take some shots at the priest. Because why not? Ah! Take it, fire! Nice, good chunk of damage. Almost killed him. Well, not almost, but you know, took a huge chunk of his health off. He's basically any attack will kill him at this point. Yeah, going pretty well. Although I do have a couple death dreads really banged up. I was a bit concerned about how orcs would fair against some of these heavily armored units and you can kind of see that it is a bit difficult there are certain units that are really designated to like death dreads kill armored stuff mega knobs kill armored stuff uh that's kind of about it <laughs> you can give the knobs power claws um the war boss is also pretty good at killing close up stuff the big mac actually has a decent gun to do some damage and a decent weapon to do some damage but you have to get really close. Alright, what are you doing? You're going mano a mano Did against I the Death Dread. And you're dead. I guess it was a glorious death. Dread's taking a party. No, not the paint job! Yep, evasion coming through, keeping me alive. Alright, so everything up here is now completely dead. Warbike is firing, boss! Taking fire! Aw, uh, we almost got that other one. Two health left. Yeah, Red ones, go fast! around the corner, I guess. What are we waiting for? But we should have it here. Close combat on the tank. Test our armor. Oh, you are screwed, buddy. And I can just kind of freely walk away. Ten now. boys, Clunk it over. Send in the death dread. Uh, I'm gonna have you guys get away from the tank because it's about to explode. This might kill both of them, but even if it does, that would be really funny. Someone grab hey, his tank, look at that. All right, so that was entertaining. <laughs> so we took him out with us. Totally fine with that. There's one intercessor left. Tiny bit of health. Angle's not great here, but we well, do have shots. If we have to, we'll move. What do we got here? 56%. Yeah, give it a try. We shoot a lot. Even if only half of them land on target. Yeah, you're pretty much toast. Nice. Okay, so I feel like that went fairly well. So I'm relatively happy with the army. So the other variant that was kind of the pre-built one has some choppers. Um, we'll take a look at it really quick. So the orc army that I built was the horde here that we just used. 
So a bit more units and stuff, relying on the two Deftereds. The pre-built one is the mech mob here. So similar thing, you've got the war boss, the mech, uh, the uh, pain boy. Got three boys for skirmishing, only one knob and mega armor. Couple lutas, nobody has any upgraded guns. They do have kind of an upgraded las cannon version. And then a couple of the flash kits, a couple def dreads, and a couple of the def copters. So it's swapping out some of the better infantry for um, that I had, like a couple mega knobs and a couple of the flash kits, a couple bikers. So instead of the bikers, we've got choppers. Instead of uh, another mega knob, we've got an extra looter. And then instead of. Um, the knobs and Gretchen and stuff, you've got just some random regular boys. I think this will do okay, but I haven't seen the choppers in action yet, so I'm kind of curious how they'll do. But we'll try out that same army I just played against the DLC Marine units next. So those Terminators and the Sanguinary Guard, I think is what they're called. Um, these guys right here. And see if we do okay. Uh, yeah, I think that went fairly well. So I'm relatively happy with the Orcs. Uh, they're Massive shooting, I think, will do really well against the Tyranids. Uh, so I think they're actually really, really well suited to fight Tyranids. I feel like they might have trouble with the Necrons, because the Necrons have that extra range and ranged accuracy that they're going to have trouble dealing with. Anything big, heavy, and armored, the Orcs need to get close to kill it. But they're fairly tough, especially if you've got the Force Field, you've got the Pain Boy nearby, you know, that kind of thing. And you can do some psychic abilities to reduce the damage they take as well. All that really helps a lot. So as long as you're sort of careful about positioning and using those abilities, I think that it really works out pretty well for the orcs. But yeah, I'm very happy with the orcs. I, I always have been an orc enjoyer personally. So yeah, we'll see uh, how they do against some of those other units next time. So until then, I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you then. Have a good one.